Be inspired with the special message from Bishop Macedo. Hello, my friends. A very good morning. May God bless you all. May the Holy Spirit, the guide, the guide of God's children, the Holy Spirit is the guide of those whom He generated. He generated, yes. The Holy Spirit generates children of God, and only He generates children for God in the name of His Son, Jesus, the firstborn. A glorious thing. Well, I would like you to understand one thing. Yesterday, we said that without a wife, without a wife, it's impossible for the man or husband to be happy. It's impossible. Impossible. You can see that it's difficult. Perhaps you say, I've tried to get it right with one wife and two and three and five and six. And it didn't work. Why? Because it's not easy. It's not easy. And every day it's becoming more difficult to find a wife. Women, there are many. Women, you, you find by, by bunches out there. You can put it this way. But a wife, you have to seek. But to seek how? You have to seek from God, not to seek with your physical eyes, because your physical eyes are going to deceive your heart. Your heart will be deceived by your eyes, and you will fall in love with the most beautiful, the most perfect woman in the world. But the spiritual eyes, the eyes of faith, the eyes of faith, the spiritual discernment, and that's why we insist that people need to receive the Holy Spirit. Because if they don't have the Holy Spirit, oh, they believe in Jesus, but if they don't receive the Spirit of Jesus, then they will make mistakes. You can be sure of that. See, the Word of God says that he who finds a wife not a woman. A woman you find at the door of the house, in the corner, anywhere. But a wife you have to seek. Just as a person seeks and surrenders themselves in the seeking of the Holy Spirit, who is our helper, in the same way a wife from God, this one, my friend, only with God. Only the Father knows His daughters and to whom each one belongs to and will fit to properly. That's the truth. When you please God, then He sends a wife, one of His daughters, to please you. And this wife will be for you, let's say, will complete your life, will give you conditions to face the, the struggles of everyday life and not be carried away and not allow you to lose any battle. See well, the Bible says that he who finds a wife, that finds a wife, finds a good thing, <laughs> finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. You ladies, pay attention, if you are born of the water, of the Holy Spirit, if you are born of God, you don't have to be worried about who you are going to marry to because the father will find you a husband. This is what happened with Isaac. Abraham himself sent his servant 
in order to find a wife for his son whom he loved so much, Isaac. Abraham knew that the happiness of his son depended on finding a loyal and faithful, dedicated wife. A, a creature who was fervorous and God-fearing. Only then Isaac would be blessed and happy. If it wasn't that, then for sure Isaac was going to make a lot of mistakes because Abraham's servant was spiritual. He is a prayerful man and he said, Lord, this is a very hard task that my, my master Abraham gave me. It's very difficult to find a, a wife for his heir. So I ask you, help me to find her. And his servant was directed by the Holy Spirit to bring Rebecca to Isaac. And the same thing is going to be for you, my friend. You who are a Rebecca, don't be worried. Don't worry about your appearance because men look at the appearance and if you look, if you take care of the appearance, then you are seeking to be attracted by a man who has physical eyes that is materialistic and you find one. But this man is going to make you unhappy because he is not of God. He is not God-fearing. He has a beautiful body, is a, a beautiful man, but only for the physical eyes. God has a son for you, my friend. You who are his daughter, wait. He will direct you. Trust him. Wait in him. Wait on him. And you can be sure that he will come and knock at your door. He is the one who will look for you. He is the one who will find you. Because it says here, He who finds a wife, so he found it, he found it because he was seeking for it. Then he finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Me as well, as my own experience, I dated many girls at the time. I didn't have any direction. I had the Holy Spirit, but I, I didn't have instruction. I was very immature in my faith, so I was looking with my own eyes and I only made mistakes until the day I said, my Lord, it's in your hands. And then he made me find with the one who was also waiting, a servant of God, a son of God. And then when we found one another, then it was the perfect match. And you already know, it was wonderful. Only smiles. And I found a good thing. I, I can say to you this. We are married for more than 50 years. I found a good thing and I can tell you that I have authority to speak about this to anybody. I can say I have authority to speak about this subject because it's been more than 50 years, half a century, with the same wife, the same wife. And thank God. So when you see me happy, rejoicing, is because I have behind me someone who sustains me. When you see me upset, it's only that moment. But later on it will go away because she's going to take care of me. So my friend, if you want to be happy, you, my dear friend, you who are a young man and, and you are looking for a wife to be happy, then you ask your father as the servant of Abraham asked the father to show him the right person. So it's hard work. It depends exclusively on us seeking in God. If you rejoice in the Lord, He will satisfy the desires of your heart. So please God, don't look with your physical eyes. Let the Holy Spirit guide you 
and he will he will direct your intellect to find the ideal wife to find a good thing and obtain this way the favor from the Lord for your life today as it's been happening every Thursday we have the love therapy where there will be directions advice the pastors of the Universal Church the bishops the pastors the servants of the Universal Church they are very well married when they are not well married then they are removed from there because they don't have condition to pass on to people what he preaches we preach what we live and that's the reason why we are hated and persecuted slandered and so on and so on thank God blessed are you when because of me they say all sorts of things about you and persecute you and hate you and so on and so on thank God may God bless you all so today in all the universal churches we have the services during the day 7 a.m. 10 a.m. 3 p.m. but especially in the evening you are our guest God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow in Jesus name